friends welcome back if you're new to our channel thank you for stopping by well, today we are going to work a beautiful cranny square the easiest one you can say and this one can be a beginner's first cranny square so let us start off with the magic ring after that I am going to chain three which is also counted as one double crochet after that I am going to make 11 number of double crochet into the magic ring so let us count and keep making double crochets into the magic ring so this particular granny square will be using three different colored yarns the yellow the pink deep pink and the green one and the hook that i am using for this particular uh, sample is 12 or you can say 2.5 mm yes that's the best thing to remember 2.5 mm so here i am working my double crochet into the magic ring now if you are not comfortable with the magic ring you can make a chain of four but working with the magic ring gives a neater finish so my 12 double crushes are done that is counting the first chain of three let me zoom in now we are going to slip stitch into the topmost chain of the very first chain of three and then i am going to chain one to secure and then we are going to snip it off and that's the tail of the magic ring which if we pull the hole in the middle is going to become smaller and a neat finish is uh, given to the work we are going to attach a second yarn and here it is the deep pink one i made a slip knot and see we are going to work the petals now here is our tiny circle and into any of the uh, spaces between the double crushes we can attach with the help of a slip stitch after that we are going to work two chains plus the first one makes three chains after that i am going to work double crochet but it is to be half done we are not going to complete it as the first petal first petal will have only three stitches after that i am going to chain two and then we are going to work the petal in the next uh, space between the two double crochets see that's the half done double crochet first one this is the second half done double crochet followed by the third half done double crochet now if we count the stitches we have four from the second petal we are going to have four stitches in each and every petal before we complete the task that's the first half done double crochet this is the second one followed by the third one now yarn over pull through all so this is how we must work our petals So in the similar process we are going to keep working our petals see the extra bit of yarn we can tuck in this manner this is also a process which freshers into crocheting should learn now that's the third half done double crochet and if we count we have four stitches yarn over pull through all now again chain two and then we are going to work our next petal in between the two double crushes so that's the second half done double crochet followed by the third one now yarn over pull through all again chain two and then let us work the double crushes again the half done double crushes this is the second one and this is the third half done double crochet for the petal so here still some more petals to be worked let's chain two and keep working the petals in the similar fashion 
it is an easy pattern and i must say the beginners should try this particular uh, granny square it is very very easy yet a beautiful one once you work this granny square you will get the confidence of working on other granny squares as well so let's continue making the petals actually we have to make 12 such petals still a few to go chain 2 another petal is being worked as a second double crochet the half turn double crochet this is the third one now we have four stitches yarn over pull through all chain two and into this gap again and we are working our double crushes the half turn double crushes so this is to be remembered that is very very essential now chain two again and our final petal is to be worked that's the first half done double crochet this is the second one followed by the third one once we have four stitches yarn over pull through all now i'm going to chain two and we are going to slip stitch into the first or the topmost chain of the first chain of three so it's done now let's snip off the yarn so here it is now we'll be introducing our uh, third yarn here I'll be working with my green one and in the similar manner we are going to make a slip knot and then attach it to uh, the pink piece with the help of a slip stitch in any of the points you can attach and let us chain three now as i told you earlier the chain of three is also counted as one double crochet so the one double crochet that is the chain of three which is followed by two number of double crochet in the same space this is the second one so in total we have three now i am going to work a triple crochet please watch carefully the yarn has been winded twice into the next gap yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so our first triple crochet is done now let's work the triple crochet again this is the second one yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two as the second triple crochet which will be followed by the third one this is the third triple crochet now the triple crochet is being worked here because i am working our first corner after the triple crochets are done i'm going to chain two and again work three number of triple crochet into the same space so that we get a neat little corner that's the second triple crochet followed by the third triple crochet so our first corner is neatly done now we are going to hop into the next gap between the petal and work three number of double crochet in the same space so that's done now again into the next petal space we are going to jump there and work three number of double crochet see how easy this particular granny square is and it is going to look beautiful now let's work a second corner by working triple crochets that's the first triple crochet followed by the second triple crochet followed by the third triple crochet after that i am going to chain two and let's work three more triple crochet in the same space 
that's the first one this is the second triple crochet and let's do the third one so here our corner is complete after that i am going to hop into the next petal space and work three number of double crochet now into the next space here i'm working again three number of double crochet this is how it looks our two corners are ready now we need to work our third corner where we'll be working triple crochets again three triple crochet chain two three triple crochet and that is going to make our third corner that's my third triple corner sorry after that i'm going to chain two one and two and work three more triple crochets in the same space as the first one this is the second one followed by the third one So my third corner is also ready. Now I am going to work the three double crochets in between the petals. That's the second double crochet and that's the third one. Another batch of double crochet needs to be worked. That's the first one. This is the second double crochet followed by the third now into the next space i am going to work our fourth or final triple crochet and that is going to be our fourth corner the first triple crochet followed by the second and the third triple crochet after that i am going to chain two one and two and work three triple crochets again so i have done that so our fourth corner is also ready one more gap to be worked in between the petals and there i will be working three number of double crochets that's the second and this is the third so all the spaces have been worked now we are going to slip stitch into the topmost chain of the very first chain of three and then chain one to secure our work now i'm going to snip off the yarn see how beautiful it is looking now the tapestry needle comes into work and we are going to hide the loose ends with the help of the tapestry needle so that our work looks neat this is how we do it once we tuck it then we can uh, snip off the extra bit of yarns this is how our cute little very very easy granny square looks we can call it a floral granny square also and if you are a beginner you should try this particular granny square thank you my friends for staying till the end if you have liked the video do give a thumbs up share it with your friends and family members if you are new to our channel do consider subscribing and stay tuned for interesting videos so till we meet again it is bye bye for today